Okay, friends, I'm going to start right at the beginning. This book, Autobiography of a Yogi by Paramhansa Yogananda. This was the starting point for me. This was the starting point for millions of people in the world to really begin to think that there was another way of life and that way of life might be available to me. He talks about deathless masters in the Himalayas. He talks about an extraordinary life-changing method of meditation called Kriya Yoga. My actual journey was spurred by one of his direct disciples, an American with the Indian name of Swami Kriyananda. I met him 50 years ago, 1969, I was 22 years old. I was part of that generation that had dropped out of society as a whole and was just looking for an alternative, and Swami Kriyananda was blazing that trail. I left everything behind, joined this fledgling community called Ananda, and all this time since then, I've been practicing Kriya Yoga, and I have been doing everything I can to spread the word. You know, our world is at a crisis point like none of us have ever experienced before, really unprecedented in the history that we have, because it's not just people being at war with each other, which has been going on for a long time, but it seems like the earth itself is in rebellion against the citizens here. You know, I started in this, what I will call the spiritual revolution that Yogananda helped launch. I started in it really early, and I've been in it long enough to see that from the ground up, things are changing. Not from the government down, not from politics, but from the change of people's hearts. You know, even though I haven't marched in a demonstration since 1964, I think I'm one of the most politically active people I know, because where the real problem is, is in consciousness. We have all the technology, we have all the resources, we could make this world heaven on earth. The problem is people don't want to. And so what we have to work with is we have to really change people's essential attitude. We have to talk about our relationship to a higher reality. We have to talk about the necessity to work together and to serve each other. And the primary power to be able to do that is inward awareness, which actually leads to meditation. When I started in this, even vegetarian foods or organic gardening or cooperating with Earth was completely unknown. What to speak of meditation, now it's mainstream. Almost from the beginning of my 50 years of meditation practice and life in spiritual community, I've been called upon also to be a spokesperson for this way of life. So I've had the extraordinary satisfaction of realizing how even a little bit of the ideas expressed by Yogananda in this book and the power of the consciousness of him and the masters like Babaji and others who are behind him absolutely transforms people's life. This is the solution, I believe, that all of us are seeking. Not just Yogananda, but an actual real transformation of consciousness. Swami Kriyananda personally trained me to share these teachings through podcasts, through videos, through travel around the world, through the books that I've written. And I would like to keep on doing this. And if you will help me, we can all do it together. There's a wonderful new platform now where every individual can put his or her heart and resources behind any cause that you believe in. It's called Patreon. And we have launched a page for me on that platform, and we invite you to join us. Every life that's touched is a, another candle flame that will take the shadows that are encroaching on our planet now and begin to replace them with an ever brighter light. And not a light of just one person's opinion over another, but the actual dawning light of greater realization and expanded consciousness, which is the true happiness that all of us are seeking. Will you work with me? Will you help me? I would be so deeply grateful to have you part of my spiritual family as we reach out together to really bring light to the world. Thank you.